Hello and welcome to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla guide. Today we're going to be looking at how to obtain Thor's armor set and the legendary Thor's hammer. As always, if you enjoy the content and want to support the channel, please feel free to subscribe and like the video. And if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, or different games you'd like to see guides for on this channel, please drop them in the comments below. Before we get started, there are some major story spoilers in this video, so if you've not reached the stage of the game we're going to be talking about, this is your chance to turn back. With that, let's get into it. In order to get the first three pieces of armour, you're going to have to kill the three daughters of Lyrion. These are quite challenging optional boss fights you can find across England, so make sure you go in prepared. These also count towards the mysteries in the regions they are found in, so if you're going for 100% completion, you are going to need to confront these three at some point. You'll find the first of the daughters, Ganaril, in Spalda Fens in Grantabridgeshire. You'll find her in a large arena in a decaying swamp. You start the encounter by examining the corpse that's tied up in the centre of the arena. All of the daughters are capable of producing vanishing duplicates of themselves that will attack you and their unblockable attacks hit harder than any other enemy you've likely fought up to this point. Making sure you have the brush with death skill before fighting any of these bosses will give you an advantage and a key few seconds to get a few hits in before they start attacking you again. Once you get Goneril to half health, she will enter a berserker mode and will release clouds of poisonous gas. So make sure you have your gear configured to resist poison damage before going into this fight. Once you've defeated her, she will drop Thor's breaches and a dagger. This dagger will be used later on in this guide. Next, you'll want to head over to East Anglia, far west from the forward camp. There will be another pit-looking arena where you'll find another decaying corpse for you to examine. This will start the encounter with Regan, the second daughter of Lyrion. She fights in a similar way to her sister, Goneril, producing clones of herself that will attack you and teleport in when you try to land hits on her. Once again, having Brush of Death skill will make this battle much easier for you as it will give you time to land a few blows after successfully dodging. Once again, the unblockable attacks deal ridiculous damage, so make sure you avoid these. For this fight, you'll want to enhance your gear to be resistant to fire damage, as once she reaches half health and goes into berserker mode, she will start using fire-based attacks. If you do catch fire at any point, all you need to do is perform a roll to immediately extinguish the flames and reduce the amount of damage you take. Once defeated, you'll receive Thor's battle plate and another dagger. The final daughter, Cordelia, is also found in East Anglia at Birklow Bog, in the southwest corner of East Anglia. You'll find another arena with another corpse tied at its centre. Once again, interact with this to start the encounter. Cordelia is probably one of the harder bosses in the game due to the sheer amount of damage she's capable of doing, so make sure you go in prepared. Like her sisters, she attacks quickly and will produce a clone of herself to deal damage. Once again, watch out for the heavy unblockable attacks, in particular when she teleports away from you. She will produce three clones that will attack you very quickly. Make sure you dodge out of the way of these clones as you will still take damage even if you do manage to block them. Once at half health, like her sisters, she will enter a berserker mode, although this time she'll be using electricity. At this point, she may use your thunderbolts that strike all around the arena, and the best way of avoiding these is to just sprint around the arena as fast as you can, making sure you're not locked onto her, as you will end up running through the thunderbolts. Once defeated, she will drop Thor's gauntlets and another dagger. You can, to an extent, cheese these bosses if you're using Brush of Death or successfully manage to parry an attack. There will be a brief moment where you can use your Rage of Hellhound ability. If fully upgraded, you can get enough hits in to deal a significant amount of damage, making the fight that little bit easier and quicker. Now you've defeated all three sisters, you want to head to this location in East Anglia, where you will find a dilapidated estate. Here there are two entrances into the catacombs, one marked on the map as a secret entrance, or if you do find yourself in the courtyard of the estate itself, you can just head down the stairs, which are on the left side of the main courtyard. Both lead to the same place, and once inside, you'll need to follow the passages to the large statue, which will be kneeling down with the antlers on its head. You'll be able to interact with this statue, which will allow you to insert the daggers you've collected from the sisters into the statue itself. Once all three daggers have been placed, a new passage will be revealed, and you follow this all the way down to a chest which will contain Thor's helmet. Well, 
Jesus. The final part of Thor's armor will take a hell of a lot of legwork to obtain as you need to eliminate every member of the Order of the Ancients. To do this, you'll need to complete the story up to this point and go out of your way finding clues to eliminate the remaining members and Zelots. Once defeated, you'll receive a letter from the poor fellow soldier of Christ who wants to meet you. Follow the quest marker to Ethelne. Once here, a cutscene will automatically start where you speak to one of the locals explaining you're looking for someone. You'll then go and sit beneath the tree and sleep. After some time, you'll awaken to the sound of a familiar voice. King Alfred. After a brief conversation, he reveals that not only is he the poor fellow soldier of Christ, but also the Grand Magister of the Order. And once the cutscene finishes, it will tell you you have eliminated King Alfred, although you don't actually kill him. From here, return to Hytham in your settlement to complete the Order of the Ancients quest, and once you've done this, you will have the Cape of Thor. Now for the hammer. For this part, you'll need to travel back to Norway using the atlas and head to the northernmost part of the map. Here you'll find a clearing with a small wooded area, and beyond that a chasm. When you approach, you'll hear the clapping of thunder, so you'll know when you're in the right place. At the bottom of this chasm is Thor's hammer. If you haven't already got all the pieces of Thor's armour, you won't be able to pull the hammer from the rocks. Once you get here, equip the armour, and you can interact with the hammer, pulling it from the ground and gaining the worthy achievement or trophy, depending which platform you're playing on. That will be all for today's guide, guys. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. I'll catch you in the next one.